Hello everybody, my name is Pastor Simple Isaac Barry from Barry Time, so oh my freaking god, forget it. I've done this intro over a thousand times. You should know it already. Anyways, today we will be looking at oh forget it. You watched the previous video. Big idea. I think you know what comes next. We've already done a thousand calculus lectures like this. Today we will be looking at you know what? Of continuity within intervals. Alright, so now just like everything else, let's get to the point. Thank you, Sir Isaac Newton, for creating the beautiful subject of calculus. And, oh, I forgot. By clicking on this video, you are obligated to learn with me, and I am obligated to teach you, and now get out. Not you. Please stay. Right then, next. But next, no, next doesn't mean you doesn't mean line is I what it means is about calculus sorry and next and not our frozen smartboard screen either well that's what happened next but okay nobody cares all right so here's our exit slip where are the intervals it's just like the big idea where are the intervals where f of x over here colorized where was the intervals where f of x is continuous. Now, obviously the cameraman's heartbeat isn't continuous, so that's not this function. Let's see what the intervals are. So of course this interval from negative 2 to negative infinity, this interval mm, is continuous. However, um, 2 isn't included either, negative 2, in where we are supposed to have the thing, where if the thing is included in the amount of numbers between them. All right, now I think negative two is actually a half, what? Well, pessimists would say negative two, this is half closed, optimists would say it's half open, and engineers would say nobody cares whether the door is open or closed. We need more hinges. All right, so now, since this is called half-closed interval, that means that calculus people are pessimists. Mathematicians are pessimists. They never see the light in anything. Minus data. Wait, what? <laughs> the data virus is getting to me. I've been studying trigonometry so much that I call things data. You are infinity, not data. Get that in your mind, Saborno. Data, 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 data. It's all coming out of my mouth. All right, that was actually a deliberate joke. But the first time I did that, that was actually a legitimate accident. All right. So, the next thing over here is, since this is a discontinuity that's open, at the next interval, from negative 2 to negative 1, but since negative 1 is hit all the way up at false data, but actually infinity, that means that this is actually in half closed, half open, or more hinges function. So it's closed on this side, minus 2, but open on this side, minus 1. Then finally it jumps back down, and it continues from the right here, so. Oh yeah, that's my right. So, that means that this interval is also continuous. So you see, this is 1.5. So that means that we're dealing with a half open, half closed, or more hinges function. So, that would be closed at this side, actually, since it's continuous. And then, this would be negative 1. And then, it would be open at this side, and that would be 1.5. And then, from 1.5 onward, then, everything is stable. Everything is solid. Everything is stable, everything is solid can't really say that much about the United States. Those are 
the four continuous intervals in our function.